easy mind, easy life. So in this video, I wanted to talk about you are the love. <laughs> you are love. You are the love that you've been looking for. Now, many of us grow up in our life and we're constantly being compared to others, right? Constantly, I've seen it time and time again. And so it gets to a point where we ourselves start to compare ourselves to others. And so in this video, what I wanted you to realize is that what you see in someone else is already in you. I am you and you are me and what is in me is already in you we are no different we have been given the same before we came to this lifetime we are the same we have the same everything same everything <laughs> same skills same intelligence same everything there is nothing in me that is not already in you and when you admire that in someone else, it's because it's already in you. You just haven't cultivated that yet. You know, we admire these athletes, you know, and all these beautiful musicians, right? And as a piano teacher of so many years, right? I know what it takes for them to reach that level. And it's not a, I wake up one morning and oh, I'm good. And many of them that actually get to the top weren't the best, but they put in the time. They put in the practice and that made them the best. The love that they had for that sport or for that musical instrument or for that art, whatever it was, they put in the hours of practice. They did the work that they needed to do to get to that level. And so many of us, we like, oh, they're so lucky, you know, because <laughs> no, it's not luck. It's they put in the time, they put in the work to get to that level. You can do it too. Put in the time, put in the effort. And you can get to that level as well. You know, for many, I mean, some musicians, you know, eight hours a day, that is their job. They sit at their instrument for eight hours a day, some more depending on you know the level that they want to get to but that's what it takes to get to the top it's not that they were born super talented you know i've been teaching piano for 30 years and the kids for me that get to the top aren't always the one that started off with the talent usually they're not and that's the funniest thing that i've learned watching them go through the years it's the ones that have the love for the music that persevere the ones that put in the practice that put in the hours that put in the time to do this they're the ones that do really well in the end you know they're the ones that get to the end and get to a high level of playing because they never gave up no matter there's years in the middle where it seems really hard and a lot of them do want to give up but it's the ones that push through and they just keep going. They're the ones that get through. And they're the ones, it's their love for that that gets them to the end. And there are some, I remember doing some music courses to teach little ones and I met a few concert pianists there and they were resentful because their parents made them practice for so many hours to get that good that in the end, their heart's not in it. They play mechanically and they play beautifully, but there's no heart. And that heart, when you're playing, is what makes all the difference. It makes all, especially when we're talking about music or art, you know? If there's no heart in it, then it just sounds like a bunch of notes. The heart is what makes it. It's what you remember when you listen to a really good musician or it's what you remember 
when you see a beautiful piece of art that's made with so much love. You remember it because it was made with love and somewhere inside it stirs that beautiful love in your heart that's always there. It connects. That's the beauty of love. When things are made with love, they're done with love. It stirs the love in the hearts of those that are touched by it. Because that's love is energy. It's this beautiful energy that is in all things. And we are constantly reminded of this love. All you have to do is look at nature. Look at the stars at night. They're beautiful when they twinkle in the sky. For me, it's the sun. I have a thing for sunrises and sunsets, just the golden colours. I'm not sure what it is, but they make me really happy. And going back to talk about happiness. <laughs> happiness is something that's in you as well. You know, so many of us look for it in others as well. My partner, oh, he's going to make me happy. He knows how to make me happy. Do they? You know, if I complete this course, I'll be happy. You know, we always put the happiness like it's in the in a future date. When I get married, I'll be happy. When I have my first child, I'll be happy. When I retire, I'll be happy. <laughs> You know, I'll be happy. It's always in a point somewhere in the future. But happiness is already in here. It's got nothing to do with these outside circumstances. You are happiness. The love that you were born with, the love that you are. You are happiness. You are peace. All of these things you already are. It is not through doing something or getting something, attaining, that you will be these things. You already are these things. It's kind of reverse to what we've been taught. You already are happy. You already, you already are happiness. It's already in you. You were born with it from the first day. And we go through all these experiences in life to feel all these other things that are not happiness because we already are that we came here to experience everything else so that when we finish this beautiful ride called life right and you get off and you finally think oh wow now I have a fuller understanding of what joy is because I got to experience everything that is not joy I got to experience grief, I got to experience shame, I got to experience guilt, I got to experience pain and fear and sadness and all the other things that are not joy. So when you come back to joy, it's like, wow, now I know more fully what joy really is. But joy is always who you were. It was never about something out there, something that you were meant to do or something that you were meant to have. None of that. Yeah, you'll notice, right? You'll get something like the fancy car, right? You get your fancy car and oh, you've been saving for months and months and months for this beautiful car. And you get the car. And how long does that joy last for? Six months? If you're lucky, it might last for a year. And then eventually it's like, oh yeah, it's my car. But you don't, get all excited about it every time you see it right and it doesn't fill your heart with joy every time you see it for the next 10 years that's how fleeting it is and like that is everything else in this world that's outside of you because you already are these things you're not meant to find them outside of you all these experiences we have outside is for us to be able to compare and know that love more fully and know that joy more fully and know that peace more fully. All right, my darlings, but it's already in here. You're never going to find it out there because it's not out there. It's not outside of you. It's not in another person. And it's not in what you do. And it's not in where you live. 
It's not in your children. It's not in your parents. There's nothing outside of you that can make you happy because you already are happiness. Hmm. I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.